Hi everyone, DB2 time again. Guys, just let you know the IP address first before you do anything. 232. We're running DB2 commands here with the instance user CTG and SG1, so running fine here. DB2 starts also running fine, so all the reactives are. One more command I issue DB2 less DB2 decrease. Just to, just to let you know, all the things are running fine. There's a sample database available, so everything's running fine until I change the host name of the system. Now, right now it's just a DR2. I'm gonna just skip the step and let you see the host name now changed to host name is now HDR1. Now I just change the host name. I'll let you know the IP address also. I changed it to. From 232 to 233. Now, if I issue DBU command right now, it's gonna take a lot of time. I possibly will end up giving up an error. I'm gonna give it another example in the terminal. Just with the instance user. And if I post DBU command, same result. Nothing for like eternity. Now in like another terminal I'm gonna just open it up to show the db2 start command. Now it gives me an error which says the db2 nodes.cg file. There's an error at line one, please include ten. Which says which means that the host name in this file is not bringable or not reachable. Now this file is located in the SQL lib of the CTG and SD1, which is the instance user. So I'm just gonna go to the SQLib directory and just gonna let's see all the files and here it is, db node start cfg just re that file to have a look at it. Here's the here's a whole old host name which is not accessible anymore, so that's why database is trying to pick that whole host name and I'm just gonna replace it now to make all the changes quickly. And that's it really. That's as easy as difficult as it sounded to be like in the beginning. So now db2 is very much quick right db2 start is also running very quickly everything's going fine again after changing out the host name now there's a few more things that i want you to have a quick click into though they are almost already done in the beginning only or if it's not make sure that this etc host file has all the access in the world like i'm going to give it just rewrite executable access this EDG host file. So, with the root user, of course, you must be knowing that. Also, to one more file called host.conf. There is EDC host.conf. So, these two files you gotta give all the access to and that's all really thanks really for watching and please don't forget to subscribe these guys are really important to me plus you can also follow me on instagram thank you so much for watching